In this video tutorial, I will teach you how to build a quiz app for both Android and iOS, as well as show you how to monetize it. We'll be using the Quiz Marathon app engine that can be found on the Envato Marketplace. So let's get to it. Before we start working with our Quiz Marathon app, it is crucial to make sure that our Air SDK is up to date. So let's open uh, a web browser and type in Download Air SDK. Select the first link and here you can choose between uh, Mac or Windows. As you can see Adobe Air SDK version 24 is the latest version. So download whichever you need and minimize this window. Now unzip it and let's rename it to something more specific like Air 24 because this is the number of this version. And let's just copy this folder and we'll paste it in Adobe's Animate CC folder like this. As you can see, I already have it. We probably have uh, 23. So paste it here and you can close it off. Now let's open Anime CC or Flash Professional and now we'll just add it to the software, help and under help manage Adobe Air SDK. As you can see I already have it. So all you have to do is add new SDK, go again to your animate uh, directory like this select air24 and select folder i will press cancel because i already have it and okay now let's minimize it and let's open our quiz marathon folder app with that and quiz marathon marathon FLA is our latest version don't worry about it it's only a it's not a bug it's a information that this project was built upon uh, uh, SDK 22 but it works with even the most up-to-date version of it so it's not a problem now I'll press uh, control and just zoom out with the uh, with the wheel and now under target you should be able to see this Air24 for Android and this is how you add the latest Air SDK to your Animate CC now only one thing remains, namely we have to add extensions responsible for chart boost and add more ads. So let's go to the right and select this wrench to open advanced action script settings. Here you can find the aims, these extensions, but we have to remove them and re-add them. So remove them. OK and reopen the panel. Now go to browse to a native extension and let's find our project. And as you can see, both extensions are here where our quiz marathon FLA file is. So let's just select the top one and press open. OK, you have to add it one by one. You can't add both at the same time, unfortunately. 
so let's just redo the process shot boost open now that our project is properly set up we can finally move to another topic which is reskinning in other words changing the visuals of our app So first thing first, let's just drag down this thing so you can have a better look uh, at how our uh, timeline is organized. Let's just expand this thing as well. As you can see, everything is uh, labeled. Every layer is labeled so you know what's uh, inside it. And this game has three stages, three views. Like this is our at frame one. This is our initial view that the user will see. And we have our buttons, you know, and in the middle we will have our uh, main menu. So if our user chooses certain category, he or she gets sent to the second frame. We have our a text box here with question and underneath uh, you will have options to choose from and once we answer a certain amount of questions we'll be sent to the final stage of our app where we'll be able to retry in the same category with different questions or press the back button to go back to our main menu, first frame. Now that you have a general understanding of how our app works, I will show you the most efficient way of changing uh, the looks of particular elements of our design. So the best way is to go on the library tab. If you can't find it, you can always go on, on the window and select library or press ctrl L or command L. Now go here and open this graphics folder and as you can see it contains majority of our elements here pretty much. So let's uh, say we would want to change the, the looks of uh, this achievements element so there are two ways of doing it we could use an external program so let's just right click it and we can tell animate cc to export it to uh, adobe photoshop or another uh, program you're well familiarized with so let's say i would want to edit this element in Photoshop CC, let's select this and now you have the element in its original dimension so you can change it here and once you're done you can press file, go to export and select quick export as PNG. OK now another way of doing it is press copy file new and let's select this action script 3.0 it does matter just go ok right click and paste in center now let's just click on this element go under properties and x set to uh, 0, y to 0 as well and now let's change the uh, dimensions of our stage so let's just copy it from our bitmap here like this h click anywhere and go and paste it here enter and as you can see we have this element in its 
original size and now you could like lock this layer create a new layer here and use a rectangle tool and start drawing then you could lock it again so it doesn't get in the way and then let's change the text color like this for instance whatever let's say this is our final design we could hide this thing or remove it completely and now we would go file export and export image legacy and just mm, save it just uh, make sure you use the same name obviously so I've prepared quite a few uh, elements that we can now import into flash so let's say we want to change this achievements element so let's just go here library ok minimize and I just drag this onto our icon and go here to the button you can see the entire box is highlighted and just release the uh, release the left click and take this element and press F2 to just remove this .png extension and just drag and drop it to the graphics folder just like this and yes replace existing items ok and as you can see now this element is, is yellow it's been updated so let's just do it for all of these elements let's minimize this thing so let's select all of these elements now and drag and drop them to our, into our project release slash will or animate cc will import it and now double click and just remove the png extension just like that and let's just take some of these elements and start dropping them into our graphics folder replace existing items now with this you can see it already changed a few elements just like that you can see our background has been updated as well and replace now you can see that even our error message the button a lot of these elements have been updated obviously these ones have different uh, dimensions so I'll show you how to fix these things so first thing first uh, we can select this element and just move it to the left shift and left arrow now this thing let's say I would like this button to be here so it's located in this movie clip so let's just double click this thing and just drag and drop it like here let's just move it up as you can see we have on the timeline like these two stages you can put this button a bit lower okay great 
Now, our buttons, they're located in this one huge movie clip, so let's double click it. Once again, we have uh, two frames. So let's just deal with the first one. So for instance, let's just set these buttons into some order, let's, let's say like this. I w we want our buttons to be placed in maybe such a manner. Now, let's see here. Obviously, these need to be fixed as well in our achievements uh, panel. So, let's just, as you can see, this one movie clip, Control Z. Uh, to reverse our changes, let's just select this element, press uh, shift on the keyboard, select all of these, and then shift again and left arrow. Let's just, uh, these are, okay, maybe. something like that okay it's fine mm -hmm. so this thing is fixed we could maybe move them a little bit further from the uh, these numbers okay we could of course you know click here select this text field go to properties panel and and you know we could just change the uh, color so it matches the labels Now let's look at this button, it's obviously a bit too big, it doesn't have the same uh, dimensions as the original, so we can go to this transform tool here, and let's just drag it to the left, usually you wouldn't have to do these things, but um. I didn't make these elements perfect, they, some of them have, uh, as you've already noticed, different uh, dimensions. And I did it to show you how easy it is to fix these things. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, oh, obviously. We need to, on frame 2, we need to drag it to the right, like this. So it doesn't, you know, this button shouldn't be visible here. Okay. Everything is fine. So we could also change this text to something, the, the color of this text, uh, let's say, do something like this, let's just take it, make it darker, Just like that, and let's change the color of these as well, we'll use the same as here, and maybe shift, I'm pressing shift to select multiple elements, let's just select this, okay. Now control and scroll wheel to zoom out 
and go to scene one click here okay this looks a lot better now now let's see why the question area hasn't been updated so let's go to the graphics folder and let's find it okay it's called face and this is question bg so you know i messed it up and it obviously has different names so what we can do is just select this and press delete on your keyboard like this okay and now let's find our new background like this now obviously it's not the perfect size so what we can do is go to transform like this move it to the right a little bit and now let's click this text area and then just change it okay so it fits our new thing here now let's fix this green button as well now that we're finished risking our app we need to redesign the main menu which will be located in the first frame In this section I will show you how to create buttons for our main menu. So first thing is we'll go under file and choose new action script ok and now we're going to import the original from the source like this select it and type 0, 0 in the properties panel now let's select it again and copy these values so our stage has the same ones paste paste enter ok now our stage has the same dimensions let's just lock this layer because it's only for the reference and minimize this thing and I've already prepared a new button so let's just drag and drop it here on the stage as you can see it's uh, way too big so what we're going to do is basically take the height value, copy and make sure this thing is uh, turned on and now just paste it, enter as you can see now our height matches the rest of our uh, scene so what we're going to do now is go to align Remember to add a line to uh, stage. Click here and here. Okay. And now we can just turn this thing off. Go export, export image legacy. full document size always export log into your C panel and select my SQL database wizard
Provide a name for your database. It can be anything. For instance, ABC. Click next step and provide a username. For instance, ABC U. Now generate your password and copy it. Click create user. Now add privileges to this user by clicking all privileges. And click next. Select return home. And choose PHP admin. Now on the left you need to select your ABC database. Now SQL tab. Now find the data.txt file on your PC. Now open it and press Ctrl A or Command A on Mac to select the entire content. Now Ctrl C or Command C to copy it. Now paste it here. and click go. Now when you click structure, you will see everything's been created correctly. Now copy the server folder and paste it on your server. You can use any FTP software. For instance, we use a free WinSCP. Type WinSCP in your browser and select download. Now you can choose between installation package or portable executables. It doesn't matter whichever you choose. Now open WinSCP. Select FTP and provide hostname, username and password. These are the same credentials you use to log into your cPanel. Now once you fill in these fields, press login. You won't be doing that here because we are already connected to the server so we'll just press X. In a public HTML catalog on your server, here you can create a new catalog or you can copy ours. Now go to the admin and select Invadion connection file. Right click connect PHP file and select edit. Now you need to provide here your previously created information. So we named our user ABCU for instance. Now provide your password and database name which was in our example ABC. Now save this file. Now copy all of these files onto your server.
Now I'll show you our admin panel. Let's log in. Under settings, you can change your password. Under categories, you can uh, add new uh, elements to our menu. So for instance, to add a new category, press add. Give it some random name like triple X, save, back. Now we have our category. Uh, we can edit here, change the name, turn it on and off, and remove it. So let's add our new pictures here to continue our skinning. So we'll add maybe this thing, upload. Okay, so we have our new pictures added now. And for instance, to add a uh, question to our category, just click its name. And here you have all the questions. So let's just press add. Choose the category, like music. Type here a uh, question. Like this. And your answers. Save. Remember to have at least 10 questions in a category. And obviously you can switch them on off. Remove them or edit them and that's all for our admin panel click monetize your app in the admo panel provide a name for your app Select your art format, for instance interstitial, and then give it a random name. You need add unit ID to display the ads in your app. Click the plus app button and fill in the necessary fields. You will need both app ID and app signature to display a chat boost ads in your app. Now click a plus campaign button to add a new publishing campaign. Click select apps and add your newly created app to the list. And press save. Before we deploy our app, we need to add a few things to our main class. So click here animate and now go down and here you need to insert your Atmo banner ID here you need to insert your interstitial ID from Atmo and here you need app ID from chart boost and app signature from chart boost in the Raid app, you need to provide link to your app, so you need the app ID. To obtain it, go back to our FLA file, click here, and this is your app ID, add.cam.invedion, it can be whatever you want. So you need to copy this go back to the code and you'd have to go like 
paste it, but you need to add add.com here as well. Finally, in the menu link, you need to provide a link to your category PHP file located on your server. Now press save. Go back to Quiz Marathon FLA file and press Ctrl Enter Command Enter to test our app. Okay, our menu displays, but uh, we wanted to make it so it's in the middle. So let's just close this, go back to code. And in the vanishing point X, let's just change it to 2. And once again, Control Enter or Command Enter. Okay, now uh, our menu displays the way we want it to be. Let's test it with swipe. Remember here you can provide FPS for your app. It's 60 FPS for the smoothest experience. And finally, let's go here. And in this field, you provide the name of your APK file. So let's name it XXX. For instance, this is the name of our app, app name XXX. Obviously, you would want to provide here XXX and your domain here. Let's say you have triple A. This is your domain version always portrait full screen and uh, gp render as you can see here we have our aims for admob and chart boost under deployment tab you need to create a certificate if you don't have it so you just go create and you fill in all of this go ok and you will have a p12 file here can remember it and always you you want to have this ticked here embed a runtime with the application okay and now let's change our icons so let's minimize this thing Let's copy our new icons. In the app icons for publish folder, you have all of the uh, old icons and paste it here. Okay, now go back to animate, open this icons you can see everything has been updated and now all you have to do is press the publish and now flash will or animate cc will deploy your project uh, to the apk file okay everything's fine And as you can see, this is our XXX APK app, which now can be published to Google Play. To deploy your project to the App Store, you would need a distribution P12 certificate and a provisioning profile created specifically for your app. 
finally you go to the Apple App Store and click publish and IMHCC will deploy your project to an IPA file.